And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on live action from Italy's top division, Serie A. How do you see it panning out, Stuart? Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. The lineup then for the hosts. Well, it looks like they're going to play in a 3 4 3 formation, but without wing backs. So, although they might have an overload in midfield, they will be vulnerable to any switches of play by the opposition. Inter's lineup is as follows. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Milan Skriniar in central defence. Hendrik Mkhitaryan plays alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Edin Dzeko. And this confrontation is underway. Martinez, is this the moment? Determined defending. This looks promising out wide. He read it well, but still work to do. Good tackle, take it away. Well, you know, wherever he's gone in his long career, Edin Dzeko has always been a prolific goal scorer, Stuart. What do you expect to see from him today? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Can he take the chance? And the keeper more than equal to it. But if truth be told, he made it rather straightforward for the keeper. Well, he knows it. That is a real waste of a great opportunity. And in the perfect position to read it. Firing it in. Well, nearly shaving the crossbar with that powerful effort. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Martinez, Dzeko, foiling his opponent completely. Who can he pick out? And the problem not completely solved. Skriniar. On to Dzeko. Can they forge ahead? And a goal it is. But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant.
regained possession. Dzeko. Barella. Chance to take the lead. And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? And he read it well, intercepting it. Hendrik Mikitarian. Federico Di Marco. What can they do from here? Chance to finish. And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Can they hit on the break? It looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Dzeko. Return to Martinez. It might be. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Martinez. Is it going to be Mkhitaryan? Oh, he's blocked it. And played short. Tremendous block. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Patrick Churia. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Moving into the advanced position. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Now can they counter clinically? Chalanolu. It's with Milan Skriniar. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Dzeko. Defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Carlos Augusto. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? And over it comes.
Well, the counter chance looks very real. Dzeko, and a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Edin Dzeko. Matteo Pessina. Carlos Augusto. Rovella. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Martinez. It is a decent looking attack here. A fine reading of the situation. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, as wily strikers go, Edin Dzeko has always been up there with the best of them throughout his career, Stuart. Well, I think he's been outstanding so far. He's looked a constant threat and he scored a very good goal. What a player he is. So into the second half and it was a sublime performance by Inter in the first half of this game. Barella, now with Dzeko, and not cleared away properly, danger averted for now. Rovella, Matteo Pessina, and unable to keep possession, he's in here. They had to react, and did. Now, who can he play it to? Martinez! Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Chalanolu. Martinez. On to Mkhitaryan. The defender doing his job. Wasted possession again. Well, Inter have certainly controlled the flow of the game. They've passed it well. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal.
And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Matteo Pessina. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And into the last 30 minutes now. Martinez. Perfect example of how to put in a tackle. And a corner will be next. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, opting for the short corner. Skriniar putting his body on the line. Out of play and an inter throw in coming up. Good pressure high up the pitch. Lukaku. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, but I think the keeper's made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Gianluca Caprari getting in there to intercept Martinez oh big opportunity nicely saved and with play stop they will make the change now And over it comes. Well, nothing wrong with the header, but it was always going that little bit off target. Well, they could run onto it here. Rovella. Oh, well, that's a super ball over the top. A glorious chance. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here it is again. What a ball that is over the top of the defence. It's weighted perfectly, but I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Romelu Lukaku now. Precise ball movement. Chance to finish. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. So now a corner. Keen to take it short here. Skriniar. Able to get a body in the way. Well, that's gone out. And it is going to be a goal kick.
Augusto. And successfully cut out. Well, these fans are starting to leave here. There's just no chance of a comeback now. Oh, moving it nicely. Very quick thinking there. Lukaku. Romelu Lukaku now. It's with Robin Gosens. Martinez. And taking it away. Bodies forward and the break looks on. And there's the feed into the box. Thumped clear. Given away by Inter. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Chalhanolu. On to Mkhitaryan. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. So two substitutes to come on in one go. So the corner played into the box. And dealt with that ball comfortably. Chalanolu. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Can he put it away? Spectacular save. Top-class goalkeeping. Gozens. Martinez Brozovic A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick Well, here's the replay and just look at that power That's almost unstoppable That's a great strike And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, that just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy all around the pitch. A really worrying performance for me.